Hey guys, Fry the Frylegator here, and I am back today in this video with the lovely loot anime from uh, the Loot Crate Saga, or Chronicles of Loot Crate. Uh, also, pardon any background noise because it is extremely hot here in my apartment because I have no air conditioning. And there is a guy outside going to the So that's always great. But yeah, I did open it up because that's how curious I am. This month's theme is Squadron. And yeah, let's get cracking. First you have this really cool uh, lock, like an uh, ammo box, like an ammo box shaped design, background thing, whatever you want to call And I don't know much about all of the items in here, or what the theme, like, uh... Um, one second, guys, I'm going to let him go, then, uh, then I'll talk. Ugh. Like, I don't know much of the anime that they uh, took the inspiration from. I do know they have Gundam in here, so that's pretty cool. Let's go with the classic t-shirt, because everyone has a t-shirt in their boxes. And this one's no different. It has a... There we go. has a really cool dragon-like design weapon thing. I have no idea what it's from, but I do like the color scheme of this, the whole gray on the red, or red on gray, like that's pretty cool. I would definitely uh, wear that, because I wear all my t-shirts. Alright. And don't worry guys, I will be showing you the, um, like the poster of the checklist. Next step is this, what is this, gate multi tool, it has a steel carabiner, bottle opener, hex tool, and a five foot of paracord, so it's like a ultimate survival tool, and I have no idea what this has to do with gate, because I haven't even seen gate, but yeah, let's pull that out of the package. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Like, here's the carabiner and uh, the bottle opener and such. But that's actually pretty nice. I like that. Alright. Next up, I thought this was really cool. And at first, I thought it was a blanket. Until I realized that it's just a long strip or a scarf. So, that, that's pretty fancy. Uh, I'm fancy now, right guys? Like, for my fanciness. Um... Nah, there it is. And of course, as per usual, with the whole, like, Blue Crate, new anime, I think Blue Gaming does that too, where they have pins, or, uh, the phone charms, respectively. Okay, like we have the whole squadron theme, or the squadron themed, so it's like a dog tag, and it says Agent 9, Lu Anime, July uh, 2016, which is this theme, or this month, so that's pretty cool. I have yet to like do anything with my others. This scarf is kind of irritating my skin here, guys. Sorry about that. I also apologize for the lack of videos. Because it is extremely hot. My air conditioner broke. And a hot frowl is not a happy frowl. So, yeah. Let's go with this month's manga. 
which is our pel our Pelagio of blue steel. Kind of, it, it looks it looks awesome. I have no idea what it is about. Uh, let's go with the back. Humanity's last hope. It's been 17 long years since the fleet of fog, a mysterious unman unman unmanned uh, fleet of powerful vessels that appeared out of nowhere, took control of the oceans, bearing humanity from or bar banning. Uh, I'm assuming they want they meant banning. Uh, banning humanity from traveling between continents or islands. During those years, people who the people the world over have dreamed of a revolt that would let them take back the seas, but there's been no hope until now. A weapon powerful enough to destroy the or to damage the fo the fog's vessels has finally been invented, and there's just one way of getting the critical information and prototypes from Japan to America, where the weapon can be produ produced. The submarine uh, I-401, with its humanoid avatar, a me mental model named Ayana, was taken the shape of a young girl, because, you know, anime, so, of course. Hey, I'm a, I'm a robot. And young girls are basically like they're they're robot made. Was well, once a part of the fleet of fog, but has chosen to side with humanity. So the robot had to join sides with humanity because she was a bad guy, but now she's a good guy. Now captain by Chihai. Uh, Gunzo, I'm going to butcher that name, and his crew, the I-401, is the only ship under human control that can move freely through the seas, but she answers only to her captain, and he answers to no one. So that's interesting. I, I'm assuming it's going to be, um, it, it, it probably is going to be a good read, due to the fact that it's probably submarines underwater, and will like personally in my experience I see a lot a lot of land clashes battles whatever with Gundam and Dragon Ball Z and Naruto and Bleach and Naruto and One Piece One Piece being the semi exception because a lot of some of the battles are taking place on sea and that's just freaking cool so I might do a review of that. And lastly, before the poster, we got this really cool uh, model suit or mobile suit Gundam Assault Kingdom. Uh, I'm assuming it's a model. Well, I, 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 did, I got I got lazy and or impatient rather, and did open it. But not to the point to like show you the figure. But look how cool that guy looks. I I'm definitely going to do a smaller view of him. He has accessories for days. I I'm assuming once you put all of it together, um, you no longer need the packaging. But that's pretty sweet. And if that guy could kind of stop mowing the lawn, that would be also fantastic. And lastly for this month is the handy dandy poster. which bears kind of the whole uh, squadron theme. Uh, let me see here. Right here is their loot anime's... Um, they do, like, this is for you. Stop it. But right now, she did have a name. She does have a name now. It's Yumi, U-Y-M-E. So that's pretty cool. 
I saw that they had a contest, and whoever won won a kaiju crate, I believe. I think. But on the back, you have your spoilers. And the t shirt was a gate t shirt. So, so it kind of goes well with the whole uh, gate carabiner uh, body tool. And now, watch as I epically fail at body poster. But anyway, guys. That has been new anime for July uh, 2016. I will see you back in my other video. Well, in another video, rather. Where I will finally show you the contents of this box. Which was my uh, yard sales for, uh, for July when I did the uh, uh, video about the community yard sales with my manga finds. But yeah, guys. Uh, depending on the like heat and humidity, I'm going to try to make more videos. But right now it's way too high for me to even function. But anyway, guys. I have a frown. You guys have been extremely patient. And fantastic. I will catch you all. There you go. And I'm going to vote.